When I reviewed this Orga HDMI transmitter, it was apparent to me this was not ready for any sort of primetime gaming or real-time type streaming activities. But could we use it for something else and recoup the 90 bucks I paid for this thing? I think we got something. Stick around. Hi everyone, Shane Armin Rowe here, and what you see here is my work laptop. Now my work laptop is very locked down, you're not allowed to install external remote software, and even if you did, then uh, what would happen is, is once you connected to our private network, it would actually lock off all network connectivity from inside my network. But what if I want to remote over to that laptop while I'm working from home and I'm on my main workstation? Well, this is exactly the best use of this thing I can come up with. So essentially what we have here is we have the viewer plugged into HDMI and we plug in the USB cable, which will actually give us some simulated mouse and keyboard functionality. So this is actually like the best possible use case. Now, we already know that this thing isn't fast enough for gaming or watching videos or doing anything of that nature, but what about the ability to uh, control a machine like a headless server or something of that nature when it just may not be possible to do it otherwise? Once we're all plugged in, we do need to use the Orga Viewer, right, which we showed in the last video. But in order to connect to it, you must be connected directly to the device. So this could prove a problem if your PC doesn't have both Wi-Fi and Ethernet. Right now, I'm on Ethernet all the time. However, I can use the Wi-Fi antenna in my PC to connect over to the Orga uh, device. So once I connect to it, I will now have the ability to stream the HDMI as well as use a mouse and keyboard simulation, which should give me 100% control over my work laptop, whether it's on VPN or not, and still be able to make use of this product that I spent 80 something dollars on that doesn't work the way I want it to. So look at that. All of a sudden I can now reach the uh, remote just fine. You can see here's my login screen and I've also done an inset so that you can see what's going on on the laptop as well. So now I can select input right here from the drop down or the uh, context menu. And yes, as you can see, there's definitive lag here, but does the lag matter using it as a simple remote control solution for a headless server, a laptop or something else? So I'm just going to uh, upgrade my copy of Directory Opus here over the wire and uh, see how it works. And everything is fine. I have access to my Windows key. I have access to a mouse and keyboard. This all works remarkably well. And if you have, say, a Plex server or some other server sitting in a closet somewhere and you'd like to get remote access to it and you don't want to have to install software, uh, then this could be a, a really great solution for you. And as you can see, it's it's working fine. You know, it's uh, <clears throat> it's a little laggy, but who cares? So I see this as a good working solution. Now, <clears throat> for eighty dollars, I'd probably rather just go ahead and install any desk or some other tool inside of my headless servers. I happen to use Multiplicities KVM for my servers. But for something like this, this extraordinarily special use case, I need the ability to remote control even without having network connectivity. And this is dead on perfect. Now, you do have to hold down the control key and right click in order to turn off the input. You can resize. All of this uh, mirroring is very, very basic. You're not going to do things like remote desktop where you're cutting and pasting files, but uh, it is a solution for a problem that probably most of you don't have. But listen, uh, I found a solution. Thanks to my viewers uh, for suggesting this. I'm Shane Armandro. Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell. You guys know what to do. Thanks so much for watching and take care. We'll see you next time.